Every time I close my eyes, I can touch the colors around me. Suddenly, I realize everything I thought was impossible. Too. I thought you were just pretending to hold oh, a microphone. No. I thought you were like... It's a tiny one, sorry. <laughs> uh, well, he's the head of the Egyptian coven, and um, which is Benjamin, Tia, and Kebi, and Amun. And um, what else do you want to know? Yeah, like, how was it for you to work with Andrea and Raimi and Angela? <laughs> um, I hate them all. They're, they're, they're like total jerks. But, no, they're, yeah, we had a really good time. We got, we actually got kind of tight like a family right. while we were doing it. Like um, a coven. Like a coven. Tight like a coven. And, and uh, it, you're never sure if that's actually going to happen or right. not, you know, but it did in this case. So, so food in Baton Rouge, it was all good. Yeah, oh, all good. Yeah. It was, uh, nobody, you know, got any fist fights. Nobody, like, threw a drink in anyone's face or right. anything like that. Yeah, it was, it was fun. What are you looking forward to from part one? Um, I'm just so curious to see what it looks like. Yeah. Like I, you know, because being there for all those months, and because they shot them both at the same time, as you guys probably know. And uh, so I'm just, I'm just mostly curious to see what what it's going to look like, what yeah. it's going to be, you know. And it'll be fun to get kind of just sit back as an audience member, not yeah. be like, how am I in it, you know? Because I'm not. So okay, we know that Stephanie Meyer was on set, obviously being a producer. So did you get to work with her hand on hand, or did she help you like get into character or anything like that? She, you know, she was there, um, which was cool because then if you had a, if you were like, how did Amun and Kebby meet, you know? And then, and sometimes she would have thoughts about it, and sometimes she was sort of like, leave it up to you, you know. Um, but yeah, it was it was neat having her. She created this whole universe, so you know it made sense for her to be be part of it. Yeah. We're glad she was. Yes, we are very glad. I know, I know. Thank you. you bet. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, is it all that it's living up to be, or is it scary? Is it? No, it's not scary at all. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's, it it kind of feels like like a, a random party. <laughs> Like Twilight is a party. But there are bars involved. <laughs> and not in the fun way. <laughs> How's it been for you to be on Twitter? Like, who's the more dedicated fan? Losties or Twilighters? Gotta say Twilight, man. I mean, you know, Twilight, I mean... Lost was intense, but it was also maybe, you know, six years, and Stephanie released these books, I don't know when, and also, I gotta be honest with you, like, the younger the fan base is, the, the, the more intense they are, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I think that, like, the Lost fan base, even though it was intense, it was more cerebral, and this one is more just driven by just, like, pure, pure love. Good point. Yeah. What was the first thing that you did when you found out you were cast in the film? Um, basically, I read the book. <laughs> That's right. I was like, let's see what happens here. Yeah, yeah. And then actually, what was really cool is Stephanie Myers, which is, I, I don't know if this happens often, but she was on set every day. And she was just watching over every element of it. And so I kind of made up my own story about my character. And I talked to Omar, who I'm sure you'll be meeting. And he came by earlier. Uh, yeah, and we talked about, you know, he's my mate. And we talked about kind of our relationship. And it turned out we were very close to what she had in mind that she released later, like our story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Thanks. Hey. Hello, to Twilight Fan Sites. So we've been following you on Twitter. How's that been? Sweet. Thank you. It's great. It's You guys are following me on Twitter? Well, we, well the whole Twilight Fan no. community is following you. So yeah. I like you. It's been amazing. I, I, I haven't received so much love ever, and I'm so happy for it. Thank you. How was it for you to work with um, Omar and Andrea? Rami. Rami. Great. Rami. It was great. Rami. Rami. Yeah. It was great. They're really, really very nice people. I met Omar and Andrea on the plane. We flew together and I saw Rami. He arrived a day later and we all became friends. Yeah, it was great. What sort of research did you do to get into character? I mean, I read all the books and I kind of had the help of the fans actually to kind of see who this girl is because they know everything about the books. So. Is it intimidating or 
is it exciting? It's I think both, definitely both. Because when they, when the fans know so much, you have to live up to that, and I, I hope I do. What are you looking forward to tonight from part one? I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I can't wait. I mean, I haven't seen it. So, have you seen it? She well, has. I have. I have seen it. Do you like it? I loved it. Oh, great. But I'm a fan, too. Oh, great. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm glad that you love it, because you're a fan. I think <laughs> I think you guys are the most important, right? The fans. So. <laughs> well, we, we kind of feel that way. <laughs> no, you have to be. I mean, if you can make the fans happy, you've done it. So thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you for... Twilight. Welcome to Twilight, and we'll see you next year. All right, I'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks. I have